Hi there, my name is Didel Madamar and you're watching my search for me. How great that you're watching this today. Um, in the last couple of weeks I shared the interview that I did last summer, uh, 2016 actually, time flies, with Arvind de Velia. He's been a great friend of mine for many years now and I really enjoyed the interview. It was full of beautiful insights. In the last part, we're going to uh, get personal with him. So the let's get personal part where I will ask him some questions about, you know, the meaning of life and some defining moments in his life. We we'll also will be talking about, you know, how an idea, something that, you know, just popped up in his mind, eventually grew out to a big annual event where Hundreds of people come together to uh, connect, to spend time together and have a nice, wonderful afternoon. So, I invite you to watch the final part of the interview. Feel free to share all your comments and insights below this video, of course. Or go to the Facebook fan page, My Search For Me, or the YouTube channel, My Search For Me, and uh, enjoy the final part. Okay, so like I said, a little bit more about Arvind. So let's start with a couple of questions. Um, what are some of the achievements that you're most proud of? Okay, so let me tell you a story about my late father. He was a writer as well. And okay. when I published my first book, he was so proud. He kept giving away copies to all his friends and family. Oh, nice. And then two years later, I published the second book, which is the one we talk about, Get the Life You Love and Do It. Yeah. And he was even more proud now. And every time I saw him, which was once a month, yeah. the question he had was, when are you writing the next book? Okay. So to me, my books have been my greatest success and something I'm very proud about. Yeah. Um, to give you an idea, the Get the Life You Love has now sold around 10,000 copies today. And to me, that's like huge. And that makes me, as a self-published author, that's phenomenally successful, apparently. I'm told that's really good. So that's, to me, is, been my most fulfilling, most, sat most satisfying thing. Yeah. Especially because my dad made, meant so much to my father. Yeah, of course, because of the emotion. Sure. Is there any other achievement that uh, also comes to mind right now? I mean, I think, yeah. I mean, there's so many, I'm just trying to think which one is the best one to talk about. Okay, again, coming back to the picnic today, that started off as a little idea 14 years back. I just wanted to get all my family and friends together in one one spot in London. I chose Regent's Park, which is a park not far from here. Yeah. And that's been going on for 14 years now. And today is number 15. And every year it's made an impact to so many people. Nice. And today is going to be the biggest and the best one ever. So to me, that's like, and I had no intention. I know I didn't really want to get anything out of it. And it's become such a fun thing. Yeah. And people love it. They sort of always ask me when, when the next one is and so on. Nice. So to me, it's like, it's an indication that there's something there for me to do much more of. Yeah. Yeah. How can I expand this and how can I do this in a way that really makes a big impact? As you can tell, impact, a big impact is very important to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And just getting sorted with my life, really. I think if I look back when I bet I was 14, 15 years back, and there was a time when I came, there was a, I remember there was one specific moment when I just split up and didn't have a job at the time and didn't have a car in the flat I was living in, the lease was about to run out. Mm -hmm. And there was a Sunday evening when I said, okay, I can either let this take me down or I can really make this work. And that was my defining moment. I, that night I said, okay, this is what I need to do, I'm going to do this. Beautiful. And I did. It's just the meaning that you give to a certain sure. situation and you gave the meaning, I have to do something with this. Yeah. And it's not going to bring me down, but... It's and this is what I strength. say to people as well. I say, no matter what's happened, where you are in your life now, you might be at what you feel is your lowest ever point, but there's so much more out there. Yeah. And also because of the country we live in and the city I'm living in, a lot of people moan to me about um, the weather or congestion on the trains and so on. Mm. And these are what I call first world problems. You know? Yeah, luxury problems. Luxury actually. problems, yeah. yeah. I mean, to me, a, a real problem or challenge is if you, if you 
starving and got, got no idea where your next meal is coming from or, or if you say in a war, war zone right now say Syria for example yeah of course. that is a real challenge yeah what we any challenges we have right now it's fairly laughable actually yeah yeah, yeah we're a little bit spoiled but we don't very realize much spoiled, it. Yeah. yeah and I think again it becomes that, that awareness if you're aware of what's really going on and connecting with the deeper you then you say okay what's really important here yeah great okay the next question Who's been uh, your own personal teacher or role model in your life? I can imagine you might have had a couple along the way. Can you share I a quite a few. I think my main, my main role model inspiration has been my father. As I said, he's now passed away. Passed away nine years back. Mm -hmm. But he was a very gentle, kind person, and he's also very diligent, and he was very always very giving. Yeah. And he was a writer, and he did a lot of writing in his own time. And, so he's been my role model. And then there are various people in, in history that I mentioned. There's Gandhi, there's Nelson Mandela. People who had a big dream and they didn't stop till they got there. I mean, Nelson Mandela, he spent 27 years in prison, but he held on to his vision of a free United South Africa. Yeah. And he got that. He got that in his lifetime. Yeah. Beautiful. I just got goosebumps. Yeah. Just reminding uh, of the vision mm. of the Mandela. And you know beautiful. also, there are so many other inspirational people around that we don't even know about. Mm -hmm. You know, in my daily life, for example, I meet people who are doing some amazing things. Yes. And it's only when you slow down and you say, okay, there's, there's something going on there. Yeah. And become present to their greatness. And again, that comes back to my point earlier on. We've got, we all got so much in us. And it's about realizing what we have and finding that and nurturing that and then Sharing it. Sharing it. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Um, what's one of the biggest things you've learned in life to date? Um, <clears throat> I think I might, might have kind of mentioned it already, actually. Be appreciative of what you have. Yeah. And you just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I've got I know someone who is seriously ill at the moment. Mm -hmm. And we really don't know what's going to happen. Literally, we literally do not know what's going to happen tomorrow mm. in her case. Yeah. So enjoy and today. Enjoy what we have. And yeah. So anytime when I'm in my back garden here, I tend to sort of reflect and meditate and say, well, just be appreciative of what we have, what I have, mm -hmm. and see how we can share that, and see how we can nurture that, and see how we can make it even bigger. Not bigger is the wrong word, make it even better. I'm just going to check the camera because I heard it's switched on. I think after so many minutes it switched off automatically for whatever reason. <coughs> and I'll take a sip as well. Yeah. Okay, the final question, and I think you partly already answered that. It's about your uh, dreams for the future, but you talked a little bit about coaching and the Make It Happen Club. Anything to mm -hmm. add to that? Sure. So, really, um, what I'd like to do next is to travel more yeah. and share my message more, more widely. Um, I feel I've got a lot to offer already, but when I'm in person, when people connect with me in person or at a speaking engagement, there's much more of me they can get. There's much more I can share. And also then I can connect with a lot more people as well. Yeah. So really, my vision is to travel more and have more worldwide events and just, just literally raise my own game. Yeah. play a much bigger game myself because we don't, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow mm -hmm. I mean not just personally for me but what's going to happen in what's, what's yeah. going to happen in the world yeah there's so much strife and struggle going on right now yeah but at the same time there's also so much goodness as I said there's so many more people now awoken they want to make a difference they want to change things they want to make it a more just world yeah and that's the people I want to connect with but there's, there can be we can either focus on the doom and gloom or we can focus on our greatness and yeah. what we can be like as a people, as a race. Yeah, and I want to be that. part of that. Yeah. 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 So whether I do it, as with a few people or many people, I just want to make sure that I'm doing my best to be out there and contribute in some way. Yeah. Doing your part. Doing my part. Yeah. And also a related matter is writing much more. My, kind, my writing has kind of um, been put on the back, back burner for a while. But I'm just literally in the last few days. I really got energized to do a lot more writing. My next book, I've got an idea for next book, which by this time next year will be published. So I've got one year. So now I've made myself accountable to yes, you. Yes, yes, and, and the rest. all your viewers. So yeah. So really, to answer your question, I'll do much more of what I'm doing: more coaching, more writing, more speaking. Yeah. 
<clears throat> and having more fun. You know, it's and like having more fun. otherwise, what's the point? Totally agree. Okay, we move on to the final part, the open question. So okay. I ask you a couple of things, and the first thing that comes to mind, mm -hmm. please okay. uh, share that with us. My life purpose <coughs> is spread love. One of my books is Love Is All That Matters. So life is all about joy. Happiness is within us. Within us. Beautiful. The biggest misunderstanding is about my life. That we're not responsible for our lives. So that is someone else's fault. Yeah, we point at others. Yeah. Um, okay, great. Uh, like you know, this these videos are about um, inspiring and sharing tips and advice for others who are also searching for themselves and their greatness and their unique gifts. What would your uh, advice be to others who are starting that journey, who are not sure what to look for and how to find that inner strength? Sure. So I would say the number one thing is to be yourself. Be you. There's only one of you. I can only be me. I can't be you anywhere else. Yeah. So being you and looking at what's so unique about you. Yeah. And being and going with that. So self reflection. <clears throat> and also a related area is not to go for perfection. Yeah. Strive out and do something. Strive for excellence rather than perfection. Yeah. And things will happen. You'll get better at what you do, you'll find the right people who you'll find the right people, the right people will find you. Mm -hmm. And go and do what what you what what's calling you. And as long as you remember, this, it's not just about you, it's about the bigger picture. Yeah. What is it that you're here to do? So be you and do what be you implies. Mm -hmm. do, do what being you implies. Yeah. Be you, self-reflection, and go out and do that. Yeah. yeah. And also, um, the world needs you because there's only one of you. There's never been anyone like you, never will be. Yeah. So why not just be you and do what you're meant to be doing? Great. So, uh, Arvind, uh, I'm sure a lot of people would like to know more about you or perhaps about the books, or about the coaching. Where could they go to find more information? Well, the, the main website is my website, so it's arvindivalia.com. Also, I have a Facebook page. Facebook is Make It Happen Club page, so it's forward slash facebook.com forward slash Make It Happen Club. Yeah. They can get the book on Amazon, it's the Get the Life You Love. So yeah. Amazon has both a published book, as a paper copy book, and a Kindle book as well. Yeah. And they can always email me. So it's arvind at arvindivalia.com. Excellent. We will also share the links. Uh, and my the coaching video. website is thinkbigcoaching.com. It's very simple, thinkbigcoaching.com. And if they go to thinkbigcoaching.com forward slash webinar recording, they can see my latest webinar as well. Excellent. Thank you so much <coughs> for this interview, for your time today, for uh, your garden to do this. And I'm looking forward to the big thing today. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you. This was the interview with Arvind de Velia, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was such a beautiful summer day when I sat with him in his garden, talking about life, what is it really all about. He was sharing his journey, the, also the struggles along the ways and his plans and everything that he's working on. I really enjoyed that and I thought it was full of wonderful insight and tips. So feel free to share that with us so others can also read that and, and get inspired or motivated to do something they want to do in their lives. Um, yeah, one of the things he uh, told us is the history behind, you know, the annual picnic that he's been organizing now for many, many years. And it has actually grown out to an annual event where hundreds of people get together to connect, to have a wonderful afternoon. And um, yeah, it, it's very inspiring when you hear him talking about that picnic and I attended it actually together with my daughter and it was wonderful and I've spoken to so many you know like-minded people who are uh, alive and have great dreams and working on dreams to uh, make the most out of life and to enjoy every single moment of their journey 
So um, it was wonderful and I think this year I will be joining again. And for you, I challenge you to think about something similar to what Arvind started, you know, with the picnic. Is there something similar that you could be doing in your life? Perhaps it's something uh, for your own family, you know, a get together once in a while where you play games or whatever. Perhaps it's bigger, like starting a foundation and you, you know, really helping a big group of people. Perhaps it has something to do with your own company and something that you want to achieve and in a way also contribute to a better, nicer world. I challenge you to think about that and see if you can come up with something that excites you, that isn't too complicated to start. Um, and yeah, my, my biggest advice would be just start, just start doing something and you will see that you will move in the right direction. So that's um, the interview with Arvind for next week. I have a very special interview waiting for you. Um, some of you are probably familiar with uh, Tony Robbins, um, a very uh, famous peak performance coach uh, in the United States, but also worldwide. I'm a big fan of his work. And um, he's been working together with uh, another peak performance coach called Joseph McClendon III. And I had the opportunity to interview him um, a couple of months ago in uh, San Diego, um, in that area where he lives. And it was uh, quite an interesting conversation that we had, to say the least. So I'm very excited to be sharing that interview with you guys finally. So stay tuned for that interview. In the meantime, be well, share your insight, your comments below this video. Go to the Facebook fan page to uh, stay up to date uh, when it comes to the videos and other posts uh, that I uh, post there. And uh, I'll see you next week, hopefully. Bye for now.